Since the dawn of time, humans have been murdering things and eating it. Sometimes that would make them sick. So humans started murdering things and then setting them on fire and then eating them. It was all right and all, it didn't make you as sick, but there was still something missing. Till a man by the name of Salt Bay from the land of turkeys appeared on Instagram and taught the humans the art of throwing salt on meat and making it taste 420% better than before. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to season your meat just like the Salt Bay. First, you're going to need some wavy ass sunglasses and a white t-shirt that's slightly open so you can show off your man cleavage. This is important for seasoning meat. But Frank, where will I get meat? You might be asking. Well, if you live in a middle class neighborhood, you could always check your local Ralph's grocery store. That's a 1095 value. Come on, give your kids one more chance to see the dancing dolphins and diving doggies, plus other exciting attractions at Knott's. At Ralph's, you're number one, cause you're home first. They totally paid me 20 bucks to do that. Now you gotta go get meat, which is in the meat aisle. And now you gotta go get spices, which is in the spices aisle. Now you gotta pose in the meat aisle. Make sure to wink at the camera. Now you gotta pose in the spices aisle. You should wink at the camera. It's like an inside joke or something. But Frank, what about vegetables? You may be asking me. Well, to which I will respond, fuck vegetables. We don't need them where we're going. Now that we have the wings of chickens, which I have murdered with my own hands, we need to spice them sexily for the meme. The classic sprinkle. The blowjob. The taste the rainbow of spices. The scarface. Now that you have spice- oh I hate this effect. I'll turn it off. Okay, so now you gotta rub the chicken and spices all up on your body sexually. Next we gotta deep fry that chicken but first you gotta make sure to kiss that chicken so you can let that chicken know that you'll know how to treat it right after the chicken is done you better take it out and fillet the fuck out of that chicken um that's the only way to tell if it's done or not if it burns it's, it's working don't forget to finish off with my frank jab sauce to give the chicken an extra kick don't forget to garnish off with some chest hair to make the chicken taste just like chest hair and there you have it, freshly seasoned sexy chicken. So yeah, make sure if you make this dish to, uh, you know, add extra sexiness to it. I know this video was stupid, I'm just trying to be more consistent with my content because I went up like 350% last week. Okay there. Thank you for watching my video all the way towards the end. Um, if you, if you liked what you saw and if you learned a bunch, please comment down below. Hey Frank, and then go on my Instagram and write, hey Frank, so today's episode was sponsored by Crystal Pepsi. Hmm, taste the Pepsi. Also, if you're in the remix competition, I'm not gonna put out midis because that's cheating. Second of all, the tempo information is embedded inside the WAV files. If you use FL Studio, it should be there. I, I like what you guys are making so far. Some of, some of the stuff is kind of shitty, but the main reason I'm doing it is so that I can see what I need to put on my channel so I can make you guys better. Okay, bye.